Do you ever just look so bad in every single video that you upload? I promise you guys, in the next video, my hair will be down. I will be wearing a presentable outfit. I swear to God, this week has just fucking sodomized me. Like, this has been the worst week of life, and it's hot as fuck in here, so this is not happening. Okay, hi. I hate to make another rant, story time, whatever, like where something shitty happened to me and I tell a story about it. All of my stories are normally very happy, very positive, very funny, very like blah blah blah. You know what I mean? And I hate making videos where I'm like ranting or upset or frustrated or negative. But yesterday, the absolute shittiest thing ever happened to me. Like literally, the shittiest thing that's probably happened to me in the last like year happened to me yesterday. And it just fucking hit me like a brick. It hit me like a wall. This week has already been so frustrating with the phone shit, the Solaris shit that I just made a video about too. And that's not like resolved. And then this happened and it just fucking royally fucked me first of all. Second of all, just I was sad. I literally cried like a little baby for like eight hours last night. Woke up today, cried like a little baby. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to sit around and cry about something that I can't change right now. I'm going to make a video talking about it. So hopefully this happens to nobody else. Okay. Okay, so yesterday I was running errands all day. I vlogged it. Um, the first half of that vlog is up on my vlog channel. By the time this is up, the second half is probably up as well. But anyways, I was vlogging all day, and then at the end of my day, I had two more things to do. And they were both very girly, minuscule things. I needed to get some, like, conditioning products for my hair because I'm trying to grow it really long. Like, you know what I mean? Like, grow it even longer so that I can get a trim on it and, like, it just be healthier. So I went to this place called Canyon Falls. And I went to Canyon Falls and I got my hair product for it. It's just like a conditioning, paraben, sulfate free bullshit that goes on the end of my hair. But anyways, so I bought that and then I was like, I need to get my nails done. So I'm talking to the girl at Canyon Falls and I normally only go to one nail salon. One nail salon, die hard. I talk about this all the time. Actually, I filmed a nail salon horror story yesterday, which is ironic because now I'm filming another one. But anyways, I filmed one of those yesterday. And when that video goes up, you'll see what I'm talking about. I only go to one nail salon and never, ever, ever break that tradition. Because what's like weird is that every time I go to a different nail salon other than the one I go to, something fucking shitty happens to me. And last night, my nail salon was like 25 minutes away from Canyon Falls. So I was kind of like, ugh, I don't want to drive that far. So I asked the Canyon Falls girl, hey, is there a nail salon nearby? And she goes, yeah, there's one next door. Like, it's really cute. I've never been there, but like, the inside's really cute. And like, a lot of people who get their hair done here go get their nails done there after. And I'm like, perfect. I will go there right now. So then, at Canyon Falls, this is a crucial part of this story. I pay with my debit card, and then my car is parked out front. So I'm holding the debit card in my hand with my phone, and I take my shit from Canyon Falls, put it in the car, lock the car, and then take the keys, the car, and the debit card. The car. The keys, the phone, and the debit card. Not my phone, my mom's phone. I've just been using it. I currently don't have a phone. That's a whole nother story. You can watch that video below. But anyways... Yeah, so I'm holding the debit card, a phone, and keys. And I walk in, and I'm still holding those things. And I'm like, I need my nails done. And I, if you've seen my last videos, my nails were so ratchet, so bad. That's the worst I've literally let them get in like a year and a half. And I was like, I need these off and new ones on. They did them. There you go. Look at that. Yep. Woohoo. Anyways, so they're like, okay, perfect. And then my mom was getting a gel manicure. So we sit down in two chairs, and they sit us down. And I set my debit card, my mom's phone, and the keys on my table right there, like in front of me. And they start to do my nails and they start to do my mom's nails. And now I, this, this sentence is gonna sound so annoying. Like I, like I already know I sound like a dumb bitch before I say it, but I am really, really, really good at picking up like vibes of people. And I know that sounds so, I don't think I'm psychic. I don't think Zen chakra or uh, recharge my crystals. That's not what I'm saying. I'm literally just saying like, if somebody's a sketchy person, I'm always going to be the person that knows that they're sketchy before everybody else. I'm always the person that will tell like my boyfriend, like, hey, this person's sketchy. And then a week later, they'll like do something sketchy. And I'm like, or like I'll go in a place and before something sketchy happens, I'll be like, these people are sketchy. And then something sketchy happens and I know it. You know what I mean? So I just have the sketchiest vibe of this place. The people are rude. They're being so like, like they keep looking at me and my mom like this, like, Uh-huh, yeah, you need your nails done? Like the up, down, like sketchy, like just asshole. 
So then I sit down and they start doing my nails and uh, I needed other acrylics taken off and most places will either take a fucking like um, tip from another nail and go under yours and pop them off or they'll soak them in acetone. So this guy was just popping mine off but he was not being gentle at all and was being so painful and I'm not the type of person to say ow or be like stop whatever I'm letting him do it but I'm like grinding my teeth because it hurts so bad and then this nail starts bleeding and he's like oh I'm so sorry and I'm already like oh my fucking god this is why I don't go to any other nail salon other than my fucking amazing ass nail salon but anyways I'm already there whatever they're already doing my nails and so after the guy takes off all of my acrylics, the girl that's working there, she's a fucking asshole. By far the rudest person of all of these people. She's really, really pretty. And like everybody else there just like isn't as pretty. And she's like treating them like shit and like flipping her hair and like just like on her phone while she's working. And like this is her face. hate people like that. I will punch that fucking stupid little dumb bitch look off of your fucking face. You're not better than me. Like, you're literally just working at a nail salon. Like, chill. I'm not saying I'm better than you. I'm literally just saying we are equal. Like, stop being a fucking bitch. And so anyways, just dirty look after dirty look. She walks up to me and she's like, I'm gonna need you to move chairs. Literally like that. Like, not even over exaggerating. And I'm like, okay, I'll move chairs now. And then she goes, I'll get your stuff for you because they put like oil on my nails before they like started to do them which is weird I don't know why they did that so I wasn't gonna grab my stuff because there was stuff all over them I was gonna have my mom take it or something and the girl was like no I'll grab it for you and carry it over there now this is where I should have been a more of a skeptical asshole but I'm always thinking the best of people and I didn't but anyways my nail salon my regular one that I always go to always moves and handles your stuff for you when it's time to pay they'll take your debit card and like swipe it for you give it back blah 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 like so that you don't mess up your nails and I assume that this place was doing the same thing so like I moved chairs three chairs down and she's holding my stuff now like like the phone the debit card and the keys and then she starts talking to one of her little workers while holding it and I just assume she's gonna keep holding it and then bring it over to me when she's done talking she's just talking all kind all nice all positivity like nothing bad and so the other guy starts doing my nails and I'm laying with my hands getting my nails done resting my head on my arm like this because I'm exhausted and in the time that I did that she brought my stuff over to, over to me, set the phone down, like my mom's phone that I was using, the keys, and the debit card wasn't there. But I did not realize that in that moment. I did not realize that in that moment at all, okay? So, I keep getting my nails done, and then my nails are finished being done. I have to wash my hands, like whatever. And the debit card is still not there, and now I've realized that. So I ask her, like, hey, you moved my stuff. Where's the debit card? And she's like, what debit card? And I'm like, my debit card, it's black. Like, I brought it in here today, like... Where is my debit card? It was sitting on this table. You moved my stuff. Now it's gone. Can you help me find it? Every single worker that was now talking stops talking, all looking down, start moving their shit like away, like closer to them. You know what I mean? And I'm like freaking out. I'm rapidly searching this place, like looking in the chairs, like asking customers to move, like looking where I was sitting, looking on the floor, looking under the tables, looking in the trash cans because I need to find my debit card, A, in order to pay for this, and B, it's the only debit card I have. And I'll get into that in a moment. It gets even shittier. But anyways... So I keep looking for it, and they're not helping me at all. They're standing there staring at me like this the entire time. I'm not saying you have to help me, but they're literally giving me the dirtiest fucking look I've literally ever gotten in my life. Like, that shit pisses me off so bad. Like, I'm not doing anything gross. I'm not being a ratchet ass bitch. I'm not being a weird ass bitch. I'm literally looking for my debit card so that I can pay you fucking people so that I can leave. And you're gonna stand there with your fucking hand on your fucking hip and give me dirty ass looks like, fuck you, I didn't do shit. I didn't even, like do anything wrong like you know what I mean so then I'm like okay I'm not accusing anyone of anything because I'm never the kind of person shit happens you know what I mean I hate being accused of things wrongfully I hate anything like that so I will never outright accuse someone of anything even if they I literally saw it before my eyes I'll always give someone the benefit of the doubt because that's how I am so I'm like hey I know that you move my stuff you asked if you could move it the debit card was on top of the phone I watched you physically grab the phone and the debit card is there any way you could have thrown it away you could have already paid for it on accident and forgot anything and she's like no blah 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 no like no like no so then my mom is sitting there getting her nails done like her gel nails done and she has her purse sitting in the chair next to her. You know what I mean? 
and then her driver's license is sitting on the outside of her purse. And then she has $900 to $1,000 of my cash in her purse because I did not have a purse that day and I didn't want to just carry that around. I was using that to go make a deposit after we went to the nail salon to be able to pay rent, bills, etc. blah, blah, blah. So I was going to make the deposit. Like I had the cash in her purse. You know what I mean? And her purse was open, but it was because we were about to pay. They were just like the gels. They were putting the top coat on it and going to put it in the light and then we were going to pay. So then the lady, I'm assuming was like going in the purse, I don't even know, just like looking in it, but anyways, she opens my mom's purse and then takes my mom's driver's license out of the purse and the cash, because the cash is now gone, but I didn't see it, it's just gone. I walked in there with it in the purse, she went in the purse and now it's gone. I'm not accusing, I'm not like directly saying, but like, what do you think happened? Like, what do you think happened if the purse was open, there was 900 to a thousand dollars cash sitting in the purse next to my mom, the lady went in the purse and now the cash is gone. Where do you think it went? I don't know, just, just me, okay? Nothing was misplaced or lost either way. I just wanna tell you something, I'm the type of person that will own up to if I lose something, I will own up to if there could have been a moment where things could have been misplaced. There was never a moment for any of the stuff. We never lost it. We're not like complete idiots. Like, you know what I mean? I know I'm blonde and I know I'm in your nail salon. I know you're doing my nails and you know so much more than me to give me so many fucking dirty looks, but I know my shit was here before I walked in your door. Anyways, then she takes my mom's driver's license and is like, you guys can't have this back until you pay me. So then I'm like, okay. So then I go in the purse and I go to get cash out and now the cash is gone. And then I say, there was cash in here before you took the driver's license out. What are you doing? Like, what's good? Like, what, what did you do with my shit? And they're like, we don't have any of your stuff. Maybe you misplaced it. So then at this point, I'm now missing a $900 to $1,000, like $950 and a debit card. So I start looking through this place like a motherfucking rapid ass fish, like finding fucking Nemo. I am searching this place so hard. Head to I'm flipping shit. Not like, I'm not breaking anything or being like rude or anything like that, but all the chairs have pillows on them. I'm like moving the pillows. I'm looking under shit. Nothing is there. And at this point, I have searched this nail salon high and low. And I literally mean high and motherfucking low. I spent an hour and a half in there after our nails were done. Mine and my mom's searching while every single customer in the store was giving us a dirty look. Every single worker in the store was giving us a dirty look. Everyone was just standing around me. And at this point, I am literally like holding back tears so hard trying to be like calm. So then I go back to the Canyon Falls place and I'm like, hey, do you think I left my debit card here? And they're like, no. And I'm like, do you think you could check a security camera? something like that blah 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 and then they show me swiping and leaving with it I make sure I check the car I check the area and then I'm like you know what no I did not misplace this I walked in there and had it and another reason why I know I have it is you know when you don't have a phone like me right now like I had my mom's phone so I can make a call but I'm not getting my own texts or my own tweets or anything so you know when you're like bored before I had moved chairs while the guy was like removing the shit off of my nails I was looking at random things like like bottles of lotion and bottles of nail polish and picking up random things and one of the things that I picked up randomly to like look at was my debit card. Just because out of boredom, just out of like dumb, like sheer, you know what I mean? When you like don't have a phone, how you're like, hmm, this is so interesting now because I have nothing else to look at, you know? One of those. And then that's when I'm like, okay, this place took my shit because like I walked in, whatever. So then I go back from the hair place into the nail place and I say, do you have some security cameras I could maybe look at? And the motherfucking guy worker, not the one that took my nails off, but another worker, looks me in my face ladies and gentlemen I look me in the eye when I say this look me in the eye and I want to tell you the fuck what he said to me look at me are you ready we don't believe in security cameras we don't believe in security cameras and at this point I don't feel bad for shit I'm like okay fuck you like obviously you don't have them because you're taking my shit 900 of my dollars are gone 950 whatever my debit card is now gone I came in here with both of those things what are you gonna do and they're like nothing so we're not gonna give you um, your debit card until you pay for it and then I'm like you took my only means of paying like what the fuck so then I call the police I call 911 and I'm like hey someone just stole $950 from me I'm at this nail salon in Henderson Nevada I'm getting my nails done here's the address I tell them what I look like I tell them the whole story that I just told you everything and they're like did you physically see them take your money and then I'm like no but she went in the purse to get the debit card and now the money is gone nobody else has gone in the purse since then not me not my mom nothing like it was there when we walked in like come on you know what I mean yet and yes I saw her physically take my debit card with my own two eyes I saw her take the debit card and then I never got it back so then three police officers show up. In the meantime, it took like 30 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm still searching the place up and down, blah, blah, blah. They won't give us the driver's license back. Dirtiest fucking looks I've literally ever received from a person ever in my entire life. So at this point, I just sit down and I'm bawling my eyes out because it's like, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. I still don't know any of that, by the way, but I'll explain that in a moment. Anyways, 
So I'm just bawling my eyes out, freaking out, waiting for the police. The police get there and they have me come outside and I explain all of this to, you, to them. And they're asking me over and over again if I saw her take the money or not and I'm explaining to them over and over and over again what happened. Like how she went in the purse and now the money's gone, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? And they're like, okay, well, you didn't physically see her, so let's see if they have security cameras. They go inside, and they're like, do you guys have security cameras? I'm standing there with them. And they're like, no, we don't have those. Like, ours just broke. And then I go, I thought you didn't believe in them. And then the guy is like, I never said that, blah, blah, blah. Now making me look like a liar to the fucking police. And then the police look around. But when I tell you, like, look around, like, they didn't, like, look. You know what I mean? Like, they just kind of walked around, looked at the floor, and were like, it's not here, whatever. So then I'm like, you can't search these people. So then while I say that, the girl takes all of her purses and bags that she had because she was about to leave because it was, like, 9 p.m. at night, sets it all down, like, in the back. Like, I watched her while she's doing this while the cops are talking to the other workers and my mom. And then walks over to the officer and goes, you can search me. You just put all your fucking shit down. Obviously, it's not going to be on your body. So then I say, she just put all of her stuff down. Like, can you go search that? Like, can you go search that stuff? And then she starts freaking out, like screaming. And is like, no, they can't search myself. Blah, blah, blah. They can search me. Da, 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 da. And then the police are like, oh, well, we'd have to have a warrant. And we have no cause to get the warrant because you didn't see it. And they don't have security cameras. And then I'm like, so there's nothing you can do. And they're like, yeah, you can shut off your debit card. But there's nothing we can do. And then I'm like, okay, what about my $950? And they're like, sorry, you must have misplaced it. And then the workers are like, yeah, I think you misplaced it. And then at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna like punch a bitch in the face. I'm not gonna like take a shit on their floor. I'm not gonna light this place up in flames. The police are here. Like they're gonna arrest me because I'm clearly in the wrong because I clearly misplaced it. Whatever. I go home and my bank is in Texas because I used to live in Texas when I got that bank account. Not the smartest thing in the world. I need to get one here. It's just been my bank ever since I've ever had a bank. They're the best bank in the world. They're so, so, so good. It's called Austin Bank. But anyways, they've always been my bank. But the shitty thing is, is because they're in Texas, they always tell me, never lose your card. It's going to take five to seven days to get a new card, blah, blah, blah. And you can only have one card with them. It's a very small bank. I need a new bank. I know everyone's going to tell me this in the comments below. I will fix that. But anyways, so I call them and they shut off the card. Now I have no money. Zero dollars, 100% zero dollars because all of my money is on that debit card and all of the cash that I had was in my mom's purse. So I have zero dollars to my name. Whatever, you get the point, you know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, what can I do? Can I go get a cash advance at someone else's bank? Can I write someone a check? Can I do anything at all to have any form of money? And they're like, no, sorry, you have to wait five to seven days. You're not here to pick up a new temporary card. So we're gonna mail you one expedited shipping, expedited, I don't know how to say that word. Five to seven days. So now, all of my bills will be late. The phone company, I don't have a phone right now because Solaris broke it, you can check out that video. We'll shut off my mom's phone. Um, I could eat the, the little amount of food I have left in my house, but I was gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow and now I can't do that. And my dog was supposed to go to the vet and now he can't go to the vet until I get money either, so I had to call and cancel that. You know, really needing a bleach and tone that I was supposed to go to today. I don't know, I'll probably be able to figure that out because my hair lady is like a close friend, but like, Everything in life right now, I'm just utterly royally fucked on. I will do my best to figure it out. I mean, if anything, I'll try to like, I don't know. I really don't have an answer. So, um, yeah, but don't think that I made this video A, for a pity party or B, to ask for your help because that's not what I'm doing at all. I'm making this video to tell you a story about what happened to me and to tell you guys two things. Don't go to places you don't trust. I'm learning to stop going to places before I read Yelp reviews and I'll get into that in a moment. And I'm also learning to watch my belongings a lot closer and as much as it sucks to not trust other people and it's just shitty because I wish this world could be a place where everybody could just fucking trust everybody but it's not. And I'm always the person who gives everyone the benefit of the doubt and then I get fucked over and that's kind of what I've learned from this that I just need to stop doing that so yeah um, I don't really know but anyway so I get home and I go on a Twitter rant about this you can check that out if you'd like because I was just fucking so mad like there's no security cameras I could shut off the car but now I'm broke as fuck for the next few days like I can't get to my money at all like the cops didn't do anything like that. Every solution everyone was giving me wasn't working. And then I had a few girls tweet me, which is really, really ironic actually, from Vegas, like girls that I know, being like, I went there and I caught them trying to take my phone. Or I went there and I caught them taking like $50 out of my wallet. Or I went there and they also stole from me, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is common. It's like a known thing apparently. So then I get on their Yelp and I start, there's a few locations by the way. But anyways, I get on their Yelp 
and I start reading the reviews of my location, like the one star ones that are like hidden, and other people were getting stolen from from there too. So that's when I was like, okay, there is no fucking more benefit of the doubt. This is happening to literally other people as well. And I'm just so mad. I hate shitty people. I hate people who do that kind of shit to other people. I hate dishonesty. I hate thieves. I hate liars. I just hate fucked up people. I, don't, I would never do that to another person. And I hate that other people would do that to other people. And not even just me. I just never want that to happen to another person again. And I don't know what to do. I, I want this to be stopped. I want them to be stopped. I want it to go on the news. I don't fucking know. Like, this isn't fair that other innocent people are getting the same thing happen to them. So I don't know. I'm not making this video to, video to try to bash or like slander anyone. I'm just telling a story about what happened to me at a nail salon here in Henderson, Nevada. I tweeted about it, like name, whatever. I'm, but again, this video isn't just to bash that single salon, like whatever. I hate doing that. I just feel so mean. I just wanted to tell you guys a really, really fucking shitty rant ass story about some fucking assholes, fucking bitches that fucking stole from me at a nail salon the other day. And last night while I was sleeping, I kept waking up to excruciating nail pain. And they hurt me a lot when they were doing my nails while I was there too. So it's not even like the service was good at all. But I don't know. So yeah, they ended up giving the license back. I found some cash in the car. They just took that as payment. Like it, was, it wasn't like a lot of money at all, but like I was able to give them what I could. And since the police were there, they were fine, whatever. So I don't owe them any money or anything like that. I kind of forgot to say that. But the majority of my money and debit card are now gone. So shout out to you. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I love you guys. <laughs> I really, really, really hate making shitty videos and I promise that after this one I will be back to my regular story times, happiness, Q&As, all that shit. This week has just been like shitty shit happening to me over and over again and I just have been wanting to like share with you guys just because I love you and like at the end of the day you guys are my friends and as things happen I like to talk to you about them. You guys always give me great advice. You guys always have solutions that I can't think of. You guys have had similar things happen to you and we can like relate. I like helping other people so shit like this doesn't happen to them and that's why I make videos like this one where it's like a mad angry shitty shit rant. But yeah, um, I just want you guys to know that the next video you see, I will be on fleek telling a regular story like normal. And I'm sorry that the past few videos have been otherwise. But I hope that you understand. And I just always want my channel to be that channel where I can be 100% honest. Instead of coming on here and acting like everything's totally fine, I would much rather come on and say, hey, I don't know how I'm going to put gas in the car or fucking pay my rent and be dead honest about it with you guys because that's the kind of channel that I want to have and will always have. And I also don't want shitty shit that happens to me to happen to you guys. So that's why I just made the cell phone video. And that's why I'm making this video. But anyways, yeah. Just in life, when bad shit happens to you, try to learn from it. And that's what I'm doing here. Because that's all we can do in this life. Sitting around, crying about it was not the smart thing for me to do. And I'm not going to do that anymore. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And I love you so fucking much. And your support literally, literally brings me to tears every time. And I'm just so thankful for you. So I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.